What's going on everybody and welcome back to episode 23 of Real Estate with Wes. Let's get right into it. <sighs> Spring is in the air, days are getting warmer, and the days are getting longer. That puts a smile on my face and the spring market is hot. Lots of buyer demand, not a lot to choose from on the inventory side of homes on the market. If you're a seller or if you are thinking of selling your home, it is a crucial time to capitalize on this market. Jumping right into my highest price this week, we are looking at a home in Westport, Connecticut, right on the shoreline. This is a magnificent five bed, five full bath, one half bath home that is over 6,000 square feet of livable space flooded with natural light on two thirds of an acre. The family room offers endless views of the sound that leads to a large deck overlooking the water as you watch the boats sail by. The master bedroom suite features a gorgeous view of the lagoon with double walk-in closets, jacuzzi tub, and steam shower. Additional amenities with this home include a game room, a media room, a workout room, and a luxurious poolside along 200 feet of private waterfront. This home could have been yours for the right price of $4,025,000. And earlier in the week, I did a really fun segment with Kara Mastriani from Castlegate Group. I really appreciated her joining me. We did a quick new segment called Spin Around the Market with Kara and Wes as we looked over what's going on in the market and gave fun advice and tips in a game style type of way. Here's a quick clip from our segment. Let's go number two. <laughs> Ah, most crazy or interesting showing experience you've ever had while touring a home with buyers. Okay. Um, there's a couple like quick ones. I honestly don't have anything that, that crazy. So this, this is, um, but this is, this is what I got for you. So, yeah. um, one time I wasn't actually able to get into a house, which is an agent's worst nightmare. Yep. Um, there was some sort of, you know, background issue with my, um, my e-key app that, that we use to get into homes with electronic right. boxes and, uh, we weren't able to get in and we're standing outside and, and waiting for it to be addressed. And it was, it was awful. It was definitely a low moment in my, in my career. Another quick one is just that, um, in one house, there were really large and angry dogs, um, oh, wow. And they were in a cage that just did not seem like it would hold them if they really wanted to get out. So um, that was interesting. We made that a pretty quick, a pretty quick tour. Yeah, you never know with pets. Um, I would say my most interesting, crazy experience was similar to yours where I couldn't get in, uh, but I'm really stubborn and will do anything for my clients. I was like climbing up in the windows, looking to see how I could get in. I mean, it's not like I was going to break in, but we had a window that was a bit cracked and I, and I tried to move it forward and it shattered. It broke. Um, I think I, I told know this, this story, story before <laughs> I know this and I'm story. not going to mention names, but the, the agent who was listing it was super kind. I called her right up. I said, listen, you have a broken window. I'm sorry. She goes, I'll take care of it. And I never heard back. And I have to say hats off to her for that. <laughs> I'll do anything for my clients though. If you want to see the full segment of Spin Around the Market with Wes and Kara, feel free to click the link below where I will have it attached. That'll do it for this week on Real Estate with Wes. I'll see you next week in episode 24. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week.